Dobra, ale ja chcę jeszcze... Dobra, zobaczmy to tak. Ok, zobaczmy jak będzie gra wyglądać na niskich. Bo wczoraj widziałem jakieś, jakieś problemy z renderowaniem, więc zobaczmy jak to będzie na niskich detalach. Przy tej grze nie musimy mieć mega wypaśnych detali, więc... Nie jest jeszcze tak. No, jest elegancko. Znów. Zobaczmy, czy to w ogóle jakąkolwiek różnicę zrobi nam. Zobaczymy, co na tej nowej planecie będzie ciekawego. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Tak, tak sądziłem. Czy robi na tym jakąś większą różnicę? Nie, chyba nie. Ja bym powiedział, że chyba jest troszeczkę gorzej nawet. E, dobra, dzisiaj zrobimy to tak. Ustawienia. E... Spersonalizowane. Uuu, efekt ziarna. Um, nie, widziałeś tak, tryb. Automatyczny 1080p. Um. Teraz oddamy to tak, jakość efektów. Cieniowania terenu. Hmm, hmm ok. Roślinności. Ciekawe. Bawmy się tak. E, tak, gry muszę uruchomić. Jak to wiemy. <śmiech> Wszyscy to wiemy. Trzeba ponownie uruchomić grę. Uruchamia się? Nie? Dobra, zobaczmy jak to teraz będzie wyglądać. I've organized my analysis. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hmm. Dobra, zobaczymy, nie? Trade. 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 Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. 
Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts, made odd bargains, never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the hearth. And what do you offer? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? Not for sale. Worth a try. <laughs> Something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. Mm, okay. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Hmm. Okay. Czy tu coś jeszcze jest? Chyba nie. nie? Jest poblokowane. Nic nie ma, żeby można było zeskanować sobie swobodnie. Zobaczmy, co tutaj jeszcze jest. Hmm. Och, opor potrzebuje. Okrytników. Musimy wrócić tutaj na statek w takim układzie. Introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, a 
about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you will accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect a remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Um. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Ciekawe. Pełen rozkład. Pajczak. How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch? He was sleeping in mine. <laughs> no, proszę. Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. Scare him away, huh?
So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us, so... there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's... Uh, Exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara, feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm. Of course. Good. Good. Yes? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? 
Wild remnant parties? What else would he use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what do you know about the remnants terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor. So a faster-than-light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by... enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationists and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake, maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Meeting with Yangara is truly historic. I'll say. My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. 
Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Also, don't call me kid. Oops. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, light-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone, bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. How did she hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple, once you know the trick to them. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. 